Today, I want to talk about PRP and eyebrows that are uh, starting to fade, get thinner or start to disappear. So uh, when I was younger, I sported, my God, such a huge brow. Uh, and then as the years went on, the eyebrows got thinner. Um, I never went for that thin look, um, but with uh, age and as we go down the path of life, they naturally get thinner anyway. That's why I have microblading done and my eyebrows. But other things that will help, um, and we've used them here in clinic, is PRP to the eyebrows. I'm gonna talk about this another day, but PRP to the eyebrows is an option. Um, so we draw a very small amount, but you do need to come uh, uh, two times, two times minimum, maybe three times. Revita Brow is an other uh, serum that you can buy online. It's fabulous, but it has prostaglandin. So if you are on hormone, uh, breast cancer, or have had cancer in the past, you can't use this. Uh, Vega More, um, which is Grow Brow uh, Serum Naturally, um, derived from mung bean sprouts, is and red clover. These deliver restoring nutrients to the eyebrow hairs as well, and that's a natural uh, option. Uh, topical minoxidil. So we talk about minoxidil all the time for the hair growth serum for scalp, uh, and obviously our eyebrow hairs their hairs too. So if you had uh, minoxidil five percent or two percent and you put it on your eyebrows every single night, you will start to see that it will improve the blood circulation flow to the area and you will start to grow your eyebrow hairs again. Uh, so I know people uh, associated with head hair. So over-the-counter serum like Nioxin or Regain, use it on your eyebrows. Um, then there's Latisse. This is only available in, in the States. It's prescription um, only medication um, and that has long been used for eyebrows as well. So they're good entry level uh, treatments uh, for your eyebrow hairs to see if they'll actually come uh, and grow again. Uh, I use PRP here um, in clinic and it has proven and it has worked. I will tell you about one of my case studies and it, it she's absolutely delighted. Uh, and then that's entry level. So then we're heading into the more expensive level, which would be polynucleotides. Um, that would be injected into your eyebrows every week for four weeks. Uh, that is the next level and then after that then we are talking about um eyebrow hair transplants that's not something that we offer here but you can get it uh in specialized areas and then finally microblading then if the brows don't hair don't grow at all at that point well then you move on to your uh eyebrow microblading or tattoo so that you have have some brows i hope that helps